So 35 years, new crystal, new design, more linear, much heavier. For 35 years, I want to talk about the Reiwa Japanese era. In 2019, a new Japanese emperor, Naruhito, ascended to the throne. And in Japan, formal dates are actually include the name of an era or an epoch that define, that are defined by the emperors. And I was a member of a V team scattered across the Windows organization, scattered across Windows, across Microsoft, to make sure that all of our software was prepared because we knew the new emperor was was going to be was going to be taking the throne, and so. We wanted to make absolutely certain that our software was ready to deal with the fact that the, the, epic is going, the epic name is gonna change. So we had a mad scramble across the organization and in the comm team, we owned a few APIs that did date and time conversions. So we were responsible for making sure that our code was updated to take on the new era. And the effort itself was, as I said, huge effort across all parts of the company and it was complicated by the fact that we were told that we would only have 30 days from when the name of the error was announced to when it had to be deployed in software across the world. And that posed a whole new set of problems that we all worked together, we solved, and it ended up and it worked perfectly. Everything came out just exactly as we could have hoped for it. And it's just a great example of how the various teams come together to work to, to solve all sorts of interesting and fascinating globalization challenges that come from all sorts of places around the world.